Hello, old guitar pickers. I'm going to try to do a little something different here, a little two for one for you. Uh, do our featured artist of the week uh, another tune there. I know, I know, suffer through with me. I know, I know. Um, on the dirty 30 here. And uh, also show you something that, that uh, I mentioned a little while back and got, but I just got another one because my nieces ran off and lost the other one I had. for one here this is a song called everyone's in love with you i think it's off transcendental blues here steve capo's up two and plays it out of the key, but with this dirty 30s i think it's a little too zingy zingy so here we go Now dig this. I've been playing with this uh, um, the Golden Gate, you know, pig. I, I really like them a lot. But you know, I can always tell when I've been in a really good jam with one of these picks because my knuckle will get a little skin up placed on it. I've actually got a little callus right here for, you know, hitting my fingers on the strings. And the other night I played this and was trying to bang a lot of volume that is not in this guitar out of it and came home with some skin up fingers. All right, dig this. Now... I want to tell you about something I got and I was thinking it might help a lot of people and dig this. It's called the Pick Max High Performance Pick Jack Roush Racing. <laughs> something like that. Nah, not really. It's called a High Performance Pick Max Pick. It's a one millimeter pick here. And uh, I want to show it to you right quick here. Now dig it. Look at this thing. Ooh, what the hell? What What is going on with this thing? I mean, check this thing out. Look, look at it. It's a one millimeter pick hanging down there, and it's this little doohickey here. Now, I was thinking, this is what I got my niece, two nieces. One's eight, one was about 11 or so-ish. I should probably know that. Um, but they were playing ukulele and stuff, and I said, Mia, let's start out with this. This is so hard, easy to hold, and it, it may help you, know, help you guys. Of course, I left it down at Mom's, and they forgot it. Now, what you're seeing here... It's this little piece here, the pick max, and where it says pick max, that's going to go up against your palms, just like holding a pistol. Look, kabam, bam. See that? I'm grabbing this thing like this. And that pick drops right there where it needs to be, kind of pretty much. Now, this is the medium size, and I've got... Uh, I think I got small hands, so I, I would like it if it was a little more further out, but it's not that big of a deal. And I and dig it, I think it makes you, but if you grip it like this, it kind of makes you put it in that, uh, you know, Larry Kill, uh, the guys that, that lay that pick right flat down here. It kind of forces you to hold it that way because it doesn't let you move it too much. So uh, well, let me show you this again. All right, it's got this little, you can you can change out the picks. It's got this little thing here. It's like a little button in it. What you do is you, I think you probably take something like a key or anything you fit down and you push that little button and this whole pick will, will slide right out and it's on this little hinge. And I think the hinge, I, I haven't tried to take it out yet, uh, but I know you can get this in like an 88 millimeter and this is a one 
and I think they got one that goes all the way up to like a 1.25 or whatever. But I'm thinking as long as you could uh, take this little thing out here, and I think that's what you do, and it's open-ended on the bottom end, you can take whatever favorite pick you had and shape it and, and take a little Dremel tool and make that little notch and put it on there. I don't know if you can, but I'm, it looks like you can. So here we go. I'm going to finish out this uh, Steve Earl team with this thing. I'm going to grab it just like I would grab my Browning 380 pistol. And I'm holding it here like this. Check that out. You know, and it's, it can flex up and down. Um, and it's kind of different from the way I, I hold a pick a little bit because I kind of like to have my flat part on my finger here on the bottom. But dig it. This is great. Another thing I was thinking, if you're one of our OGPs that may have some arthritis or is recovering from a stroke or whatever you might have, any hand problems you might have, and holding a pick, uh, this might be something you might be interested in. It's a, I got this one um, for about $12.00. Came with everything here, came in a little shrink wrap from Amazon. And uh, like I said, they got different sizes and stuff. And, uh, you know, if you have trouble holding a pick or you want something, you know, because really, if you're holding this thing like this, you don't even have to hold the pick. You just have to put your thumb down on it and it's going to be there. So here we go. I'm going to jump back in this. This tune right at where I left it off. Now, every myself using this in a big old time jam where I'm just hammering away on chords and having a good time you know a little lubricated up it's it's, it's pretty cool it comes in a small this is a medium and I, when I say medium I think it's like how deep it goes in your hand um, I think for most of us most of us guys would want a want a, want a large um, but it's pretty cool not, not bad Hope you guys like that. Um, Pick Max. Pick Max. <laughs>